Hey guys, and welcome back to another week of Cause Say Today. I'm here with Trista. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> yeah, so we're just gonna jump right in like we always do. Um, so Trista, what got you into cosplaying? What got me into cosplaying? Ultimately, I blame my mom because she was always really encouraging in making costumes and stuff for events and making sure that we had something really creative to go with. And I just kind of never grew out of it and eventually started doing my own stuff. So yeah, blame my mom <laughs> for that one. When did you first start cosplaying? Cosplaying, I, I find it hard because the, the term itself, I, I, I would get punished by a lot of people in the cosplay community for this, but to me, it is still just dress ups. Mm -hmm. So for me, it was just something I never really grew out of. And every opportunity I got to go out in a character or create something like that, I took it. Um, when I found TikTok just over two years ago, that's really what made it a um, real common hobby mm -hmm. because I had an outlet to be able to provide to frequently. And so from then it just went crazy. <laughs> Do you remember what was your first cosplay? Like the first character you went out as? First character I went out as. There's so many little just like original character ideas and that that I went through my younger years from like just like princesses to zombies, but nothing particular. Mm -hmm. But for my 21st birthday, I did the Mad Hatter. Um, so I think that was my first proper, I actually took a lot of time, put effort into recreating the character and brought him to life. <laughs> That's so, awesome. Yeah. Um, <laughs> how many cosplays did, do you think that you've done? Oh, oh, I was trying to work this out the other day and I know I've hit just over the 50 limit for my wigs mm -hmm. and my wigs, some of them have multiple uses for different cosplays. So now at this point, whether they be closeted or actual full bought or full made, mm -hmm. I have at least over 50. Wow. <laughs> Do you yeah. have a favorite? I think it's still Shigaraki. I, I'm still pretty happy with that because it was the first time I actually put a lot of time and effort into a prop. And so making the hands took me a lot of time, a lot of playing around with chemicals I wasn't familiar with, but yeah. we got there in the end. <laughs> Um, how much time do you think that you put into that, into making the hand? The hands themselves, um, it took about six months all up. Mind you, it was me stopping and stalling, losing a bit of motivation, mm -hmm. getting started again, making mistakes, having to buy more chemicals. Um, but ultimately, it worked out about half the price as buying a set of prop hands. So yeah, that's it worked cool. out in the end. <laughs> Um, speaking about motivation, what does keep you motivated and inspired to keep cosplaying or keep working on props and stuff? Basically, it's it's my creative outlet at the moment. Whether mm -hmm. I've been into drawing or painting, there's always something I kind of fixate on. Um, at the moment, cosplay is a major one. I, I look at makeup rather than looking at it as makeup as more of like doing art on my face yeah. and stuff like that. Um, being able to bring all these characters to life and the fact that people actually enjoy it pushes me even more. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> do you have like a favorite makeup look to do? Mm -hmm. Not really, not really. I kind of just spontaneously work with what I've got and try and make it work to my face because mm -hmm. I don't really understand tutorials and that when they tell you to use certain shapes like I don't know whether I'm hooded or deep set or whatever like I don't get all that stuff so yeah I just try and wing it and see what works <laughs> do you have one that takes the longest oh I did a uh, Gemini cosplay that seemed to take a long time because I had separate colors and stuff but I also did like a star and planetary effect mm -hmm. around my face so I found that took a while because I, I was trying to blend colors properly and make sure I had the proper shapes and circles and yeah that that took a fair while I think that took me about three hours the first time I tried it oh wow yeah that's pretty cool um <laughs> so we've talked about prop making and makeup are there any other cosplay skills that you've picked up or just skills in general that you picked up because of cosplay um I've learned a lot from the community itself I'm Ideally, I, I like to consider myself creative, but I like to try and 
wing, wing, wing things. And sometimes, you know, there's tutorials on that out there for a reason. So I quite often was used to making mistakes and having stuff not working, whereas now I've got people I can look to, to figure out where to go. So being involved in the community is kind of what's helped me advance heaps with a lot of my skills. Yeah. Um, since we're on the topic, what are your um, opinions on the cosplay community? Like, what do you think is the best part of it? Um, the like-minded people. Mm-hmm. Um, throughout my life, it's always been hard for me to find people who are into anime and cosplay and, you know, like Japanese culture and all that kind of stuff. And so it was always few and far between. And here I found thousands, literally thousands and thousands of people. It's just like, oh my God, you all exist. It, it seems a bit more normalized nowadays. Yeah. Whereas, you know, when I was still growing up, it was still, yeah, <laughs> you're quite labeled a nerd or a little bit outcast in that, whereas it's it's slowly getting there, slowly yeah, getting there. Definitely. Um, on the opposite side of that, is there like something that you could change if you, if you had the chance? About the community? Or... Yeah. Not really. I think everything has its pros and cons Mm -hmm. um, everywhere you go and you can't really judge people, but you can make an effort in what you're doing yourself. So yeah, I guess it all just comes down to that. Um, So how long have you been cosplaying? Um, Pretty much spotty my whole life, Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, mainly as hobby based, definitely the last two years it's frequent and it's pretty much the main thing I do. <laughs> yeah. Do you have any like specific memories that um you like treasure more than others? Hmm. Probably I have this one that always tends to come to mind when things like better asks mm-hmm. asked and I remember being, I think I might have been in year three or something, and we had a medieval um, themed thing at our school, and my mum ended up making us some really, really nice princess dresses, Um, and I think they were made from like bits of like curtains and stuff like that, like she pretty much just used anything she could to put them together for us, and they were the most beautiful dresses that I'd ever seen, and I still remember really enjoying it. Me and my sister had the same dress, and yeah. (laughs) That's such a cool memory. Um, on a separate note, have you been to any conventions, uh, over the past two years or before then? (coughs) Excuse me. Um, I've been to, uh, one here in Fort Macquarie. It's a little local library one. So you get like, maybe like 20 cosplayers there. So it's quite small. Yeah. Um, I used to run just like a little kawaii style Japanese cute themed store there. And that's what kind of got me to go to a cosplay event for the first time and then I decided to in 2018 go to my first big one which was Supernova Brisbane and that was absolutely amazing I caught the bug and then COVID hit so now I'm just (laughs) patiently waiting for the conventions to open again so I can get back into it yeah I definitely get that um so you were talking about this small convention what's that experience like um, it's, it's, it's really cool. It's cause it's like, it'd be like going to like a small town kind of version mm-hmm. of something. So the community, um, being local, they all know each other. So I was a bit of an outsider first coming in, but now that I've been to a few, um, I feel quite familiarized with people yeah. there. Um, and it was really nice to actually find that even in a smaller city or place that there were so many like-minded people that enjoyed the same thing. So finally doors were starting to open for me (laughs) that's awesome um back to your cosplays do you have one that you that you get into to just relax or to feel yourself like a comfort cosplay Um, in a sense I, I find I find that one hard to answer in a sense I find them all comfort cosplays mm-hmm. cause I do it because it's a comfortable hobby yeah um so yeah but Probably the main two that I do still really feel comfortable getting into. I have no issues, like, especially with costuming and all that kind of stuff as well. Like, I can just literally relax and not realize I got a wig on and chill in the character. It's probably Villain Deku and Shigaraki. Awesome. Um, (laughs) And I know I asked you your, like, if you had a favorite cosplay. Do you have, like, a least favorite one or one that didn't turn out as well as you wanted it to? 
Yuno always gets me. I feel like Yuno is such a hard character to do because they're so famous and well known. And whenever I get into Yuno, I just look and go, I don't look like them. Like it's just one of those ones. It's like no matter what I do, I just don't feel like I'm doing Yuno justice. <laughs> yeah. Do you? So as much as I love her, it's like mm, you hurt every time I get into you. <laughs> Um, going off of that, do you have like any cost plans or, or like works, uh, works in progress that you're working on right now just to get you through COVID? Uh, yes, a lot actually. Um, I had about 30 odd planned at the beginning of the year, mm-hmm. but once COVID hit, all the postal services started slowing down. Yeah. Um, some services weren't even sending out. So a lot of progress ended up slowing down. And now I've got a, quite a few that are coming together all at once. So we've got Il Quira from Bleach, which I'm actually really excited about. It's one of my dream cosplays. Um, we've got Professor Stein from Soul Eater. Um, we just recently finished uh, Sashomaru, which was a big planned one for a long time as well. So it was really good to see that one come together. Uh, we've, got, we've got Jalal from Fairy Tail. Uh, King Julian from Madagascar, so <laughs> <laughs> pretty excited about that. I got the material for the tail, so he's... <laughs> I'm excited to see that. I think that's one of my most favourite ones that I'm going to have for the year. I think he's going to be really fun, and I think, because a lot of people know who he is too, so <laughs> I think people will enjoy it. <laughs> Definitely. Um As a cosplayer, is there, like, something that you think makes you stand out or makes you unique? Uh, Not really. I I compare myself to a lot of people in that, but it's in growth and stuff. But it's it's amazing seeing how much similarities everybody actually has. Like, everybody has the same kind of troubles and everybody has the same kind of biases and pros and cons. So, Mm -hmm. not really. I, I think... Um, ultimately it's all about luck and that is whether we are found on the internet and that and that's why I'm here (laughs) yeah I think we're all special and unique (laughs) Uh, do you think that cosplay has helped you um, like gain any sort of like confidence or any sort of like skills that work outside of the community confidence definitely Um, skills Probably in a set that um, it's enabled me to reconnect with people again and start Mm -hmm. socialising again. Um, Not that, you know, there was anything majorly wrong, but, you know, I had kind of closed myself off and wasn't bothering trying to go out and meet people and that. And this has kind of opened the doors back up to that. So outside of the community, definitely um, everyone's helped bring me back out of my little social space. And I'm definitely growing a lot more again. Awesome. Um, This is a question that I've never asked anybody before, but how did you feel when I contacted you for an interview? Uh, You're like the first person to offer me like an opportunity or anything. So I was, I was blown away. I was like, really? Somebody wants to talk to me? Like, it was, it was a good moment. It was a very good moment. I thank you very very much for giving me this. (laughs) Well, thank you for accepting. (laughs) Um, is there like a reason that you accepted or was it just because I was the first person to ask? Uh, because it's an opportunity, uh, especially after watching a few of your interviews and that too. I really liked what I saw and I was really keen to get to know you. Awesome. <laughs> so, <yeah. laughs> Thanks. Sorry. I'm like, I'm just stay in touch after this. <laughs> <laughs> You're so nice. I'm not blushing. That's fine. I'm just... <laughs> Um, but overall cosplay, like, it seems that it's done a lot for you. Um, you said that it helped you expand your social bubble. Is there like certain people that you've come to know or that have inspired you or motivate you to keep going as well? Uh, a a lot of people, uh, the community that is now surrounding me are amazing and I'm, I'm really bad with names and stuff and not sure what names I should use that are real names and not but um, we'll just point out that the kingdom um, they all know who they are they are exceptional people and they really helped me a lot a lot of the time and I couldn't I couldn't have expected this like it's amazing the people that surround me now and that goes out to everyone like to every single follower in that 
they're just they're all amazing <laughs> i don't know I, it's so hard to put in the words because i feel like i can never actually truly thank everyone enough for what they have done for me yeah yeah <laughs> um that's really all of the questions that i have but do you have any like advice or just anything that you want to say to any of your friend your fans followers or friends that are watching basically a lot of people like question about cosplay and seem to put more focus on it than what needs to be it's purely just a hobby it's an expression of self and it's having fun um not everybody can start as early as everybody else but don't give up your hopes and dreams one day you'll get the chance to do it and you'll love it <laughs> awesome thank you for that <laughs> um do you want to say your social media i'm also going to have it down in the video description for anybody that needs to see it it'll be down there yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, my TikTok, Pernicious Delusions, uh, Pernicious dot Delusions, and my Instagram is Trista Cosplay. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for this interview. It was really great talking to you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, guys, I will see you guys. I will see you guys next week with another episode. Wow, that was, I'll just flay on my arms like a crazy person. <laughs> but yeah, I'll see you guys next week for another episode. Bye.